What's up everyone and welcome to the very first episode of Trash Talk for the new year. We are already one week into 2021 and I'm sure you guys have made your own New Year's resolutions or just some things that you want to change or pursue in this new year. And one of them, which is hopefully the reason why I clicked this video, is to try to live a little more sustainably or just be kinder to the planet. Today, I will be talking about some tips that I can give you that has helped me along the way or some things that I've learned as you embark on this new journey of sustainability. Saying you want to live a sustainable life can be a bit daunting and scary, so I guess let's just call it being kinder to the environment, which we should all be doing, hopefully. So as you embark on this journey, my first tip for you is to get to know yourself. You first need to understand what are your needs, what are your interests, what is your kind of lifestyle. Because if you don't know these things, you could easily fall into the trap of buying literally anything that is labeled as sustainable or, or eco-friendly. And that is definitely not what we're aiming to do here. Only when you know yourself can you truly see which aspects of your life could be switched or transformed into far more eco-friendly practices like what which parts of your routine can um, acquire more waste than others and which parts of that you can tweak a little bit to try and make it a little more sustainable understand the life that you live because if you compare yourself to anybody on the internet including myself that is not a manifestation of your life so other people's solutions and suggestions would could not be compatible to you. So you first need to look at what you have. And then can we only start creating changes and swapping out and switching a lot of the less sustainable things that we have in our life for more eco-friendly products or practices. Which leads us to our second step, which is to go slow and steady. I know it's very easy to like, I'm gonna go cold turkey and just completely reinvent my life because I want to be more sustainable in 2021. But having that mindset of just completely switching out your life can only lead to failure more often than not. Trying to abruptly change everything in your life could set you up for more failure than going just slowly and steadily, like changing one thing at a time. Because, you know, sustainability, as I have repeated in so many of my episodes, is a lifestyle. Hindi pwedeng biglaan na lang you need to learn to incorporate it into your life and based on your lifestyle. Then can you only learn what works and what doesn't work for you. You need to start small in order to, again, going back to step one, to further understand yourself and to see which bits can you switch out easily? Our goal here is to be more mindful, more careful, and more conscious of our decisions. But if you completely change everything overnight, you just you lose track of everything and everything else overwhelms you and that's not what we want. So make sure to just take one step after the other, baby steps. That's how you'll be able to set yourself up for more success in the long run. So don't rush it, it's really, a long and tedious journey and we're all in this together so okay lang one step at a time don't pressure yourself to completely revamp your life overnight my third tip is to just keep on trying test anything and everything ideally you could test more things that are like uh what are on the cheaper sides or the mo more expensive sides because sometimes you realize that when you buy the cheaper ones it could be more effective for you than those in the more expensive sides and at the same time you can also find more options that are more accessible to you because a lot of international brands already have like sustainable products that they import here but that can be quite expensive and quite pricey and difficult to come by so while testing things you can help other smaller companies to who are like Konyari, releasing their first um, batch of shampoo bars you could help them with their research and development when you buy their product so 
not only are you learning for yourself, but you're also supporting a lot of these smaller industries in trying to build a better business and creating a better product. Don't give up if on the first try you, you fail or something wrong happens because that's only one step of the way. Because in other aspects of your life or in other activities that you have, but usually in the first try, it's not always a successful. But you keep on persisting because you're passionate about what you're trying to do. Just have patience and eventually you will be able to find products that will work for you, your lifestyle, your budget, and everything. Number four, don't be afraid to fail. As I said earlier in my previous tip, there are a lot of speed bumps along the way. Regardless of what part of your journey you're in, you could be at the beginning, you could be at the middle, or you could have been doing this for 10 years, but you can still encounter a lot of problems along the way, and that's totally fine. That becomes a learning experience for you so that you can not only help yourself, but also help other people and eventually find a solution for that problem. Some people may have already encountered this same problem that you experience, and as a community, collectively, we can help each other to find a solution to solve that problem. I'm sure there are a lot of eco-friendly products that were a product of people just having problems in certain parts of their life and realize, oh, we can have a product for that. And then we create it, which is why it's important to join like Facebook groups where you can really talk to real people about trying to live this life and trying to just be a little kinder, you know? Again, the goal is never to be perfect. We can never truly perfectly be sustainable, but we do as much as we can. Even if that's just switching out one or two or three things in your life, the impact that that has over time and among a lot of people is already so much. Which brings us to tip number five, which is to educate yourself. Educate yourselves in all forms possible through social media, through television, through seminars, through newspapers and articles. There are so many ways for you to educate yourself. Also, educating yourself through human experience, learning from other people. That's also very, very valuable. Always try to be learning about what is happening in that community, in that movement. And because there's always something new being discovered, something new being developed, some more tips that you can do and switches that you can make. So continuously educate yourself because a lot of people get into this movement not knowing anything, which makes it like 10 times harder. So you're like, oh, I want to do this, but I don't know anything. So don't do that. <laughs> Try to learn and educate yourself. Even just like ask a friend about it. This is what I'm for. <laughs> learn first. And from those learnings, you're like, oh, pwede ko palang gawin to. Oh, pwede ko palang gawin yet. Number six. Honestly, just stop buying things that you don't need. I know it's really easy to fall into the rabbit hole that is Shopee or Lazada and just see all these cute things. And I don't want to deny anybody of their joy in purchasing these small items. I don't, I, I have no intention to make your life miserable and tell you that buying things is the worst thing that you can do for the planet. But again, I just want you to be more conscious and less impulsive in your purchases. The bottom line of trying to be more sustainable, being more eco-friendly, or being kinder to the planet is just being more mindful and being more conscious of the decisions, the purchases that you make. So those are just some of the few tips that I want to share with you guys as you try to embark on this new journey of sustainability, regardless if you're starting the new year, in the middle of the year, at the end of the year, no matter what time, any time is always a good time to start. As long as you begin, as long as you have that intention, that intention and that passion, that drive will get you so far, I promise you. Because a lot of people embark on this without actually the interest or just being forced to do it, they are more likely to fail <laughs> uh, faster. But if you're actually interested and you actually have the intention you're more willing to take the effort and to find ways all the ways possible finding even if it can take up your time you will find a way to try to do better and again it's not about being perfect so just one you make one change for the entire 2021 you know what that's good enough for me that's the, the more you set yourself up for failure and like I, I need to do all these things by the end of the year 
the harder it becomes. So make it, make your goals simpler. Make it so easy that there is no other way but to do it. So like, if that only means, for example, goal for 2021 is just to change your toothbrush to a bamboo toothbrush. That's it. Anything else that comes from that is already a success. So try to just make one, one small goal. And if you can, two. And just slowly, again, slowly and steadily change. Never underestimate that impact that you can make by individual action. So I hope you guys learned something from this video. There are so many videos on YouTube, on Instagram, on Pinterest, where you can watch all about like more specific tips of like what swaps you can make but you know i want to contribute something a little bit different uh, more on like the mindset going into sustainability so i hope you guys really learn something from this and hopefully you can pass this on to more people so that they can also if they want to start their own journey that they can also learn from this so i hope you guys enjoyed i will be having more episodes of trash talk this year hopefully because i've abandoned this whole series I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys again in the next episode and happy sustainable journey. I hope you have success along the way. We'll be here together and also comment down in the section what are some changes that you've already made in the past year, in the past years that you've been proud to be able to sustain for much longer than you anticipated. So I'll see you guys soon. Don't forget to follow me in my socials if you haven't. My Instagram and my Twitter. Holla, holla, holla. Also, if you haven't subscribed, do so. So you'll be able to watch more videos like this one. And click the thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.